Hello Billy, back at it again with another Let's Review, and today we are reviewing game 5 out of 139. Today we are reviewing SSX3 on the GameCube. I'm so excited to review this game because this game is actually really underrated. There are other SX games on other consoles, and they even released a SSX on the 7th gen consoles. Anyways, let's get started with this week's Let's Review It. Like I said before, this game is extremely underrated. Luckily, I found this game at a thrift store. I just wanted a new game, and this game was the most interesting, so I picked it up. When I first played, it was so fun, and I almost beat the game, but I didn't, because it got kind of boring after a while. I would suggest playing the new ones, because these older SSX games feel really dated. In SSX, there are many different game modes. The main thing you can do is just snowboard around the whole map, and it's pretty fun. The only bad thing about this is when you get to the top of the mountain, which is peak 3, it limits on where you can go, and you usually find yourself being respawned all the time. There are many different events in the game where you can complete and progress through the game. Race, slope style, big air, super pipe, and probably a lot more. Some events are harder than others, so you have to get really good to get the most points so you can win. Sometimes I think, how is it possible to get some of the scores that the game sets? Moving on to controls, and you really have to get used to them. First time I played it, I was like, how do I do moves and stuff? Literally, I couldn't figure out how to do anything. Until I hit the D-pad. What game uses the D-pad on the GameCube? And what makes it worse is you have to use the left analog stick at the same time, so it's pretty weird, like your two hands on the left side of the controller, and it's like, what? Other than that, the controls are fine. Look at those graphics though, which are okay. It looks pretty good for the GameCube, but I think they could have did a little better. But who cares, I guess. The new one looks so amazing though. Not much to say about graphics though. Well guys, today we have reviewed SSX3. It was a nice short let's review and it was pretty good. Like I said before, I would suggest getting this game because it's really fun and quite challenging sometimes. The game is only $20 on the PS3, so that's not expensive at all. Well guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Let's Review It. Build in, out. Hey guys, hope you really liked that video. And if you did, please... Like, comment, share, and subscribe. You should also check out our Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. See you again soon! soon.